Summer Blonde. The Stevie Ray Vaughan has stopped by, and Stevie, I want to welcome you to MTV. Thank you very much. Your first visit, and uh, at last we got some video from you, and a record as well. I want to give everybody a look at the record called Texas Flood. A record with a whole lot of guitar playing on there, and a record I've been listening to at home a real lot as well. There's a lot of, a lot of cover stuff on there. Yeah. Co covers from other people. Yeah. And after seeing you live, I got to wonder, was it a conscious effort for you to not put Hendrix on the record? Well, it's, it's something to think about, you know. Because uh, you play Hendrix so much live. I really enjoy doing it, you know. He gave us a lot, and if I can give it back to him, that's my pleasure. Did you, were you thinking, I don't want to do Jimi Hendrix on my album. I want people to know, you know, what I've written you know, or the other people that I enjoy. Or... I just went, we just went in and did the record. Uh, we did it in two days, you know. And, two uh, days? Well, we did all the tracks in two days, did eight songs one day and two the other. Uh, did the vocals in two days, mixed it in two days, mastered it in two days. So you really, did, um, uh, why then did you wind up without doing, I've seen you do Third Stone from the Sun. Now, people don't even attempt <laughs> doing that unless they can play guitar. Oh man, I mean, it's, just, it's just fun, you know. Did Maybe, you cut uh, any Hendrix stuff when you were in the studio? No, we did these songs right here and that's all. Uh-huh. We didn't cut anything from anything. Uh -huh. yeah. I know it means a real lot to you. Yeah. You can see just, just from the playing that it means a lot to you. Did you ever get a chance to see him? No, I didn't. Yeah. In my dreams. That's it. But you play him real well. You know, I, I've heard some other good news about you. I know that um, recently you've been added onto the police date mm -hmm. in Montreal. Yeah. It's exciting. Very, very exciting. How do you feel about playing in front of, what, what is it, about 60 or 70? Well, I think it holds 45,000. 45,000? That's yeah. a decent crowd? Yeah. You'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> that should be an exciting show for you, I would think. Of course. How did that happen? It was. It's actually happened real fast. I'm not sure exactly how it came about. It was just, uh, the other day I got a call. He was told so. Said Stevie. Yeah. We want you. <laughs> There's all, I, I'm going to run through a couple of things that I've heard recently uh, good that have been happening for you. And there's a whole string of things that have been happening. Another thing is this movie I've been hearing about. Well, we'll see if I'm an actor or not. I don't know. Well, why don't you elaborate for us? We, we've heard a little bit. In fact, tonight, on our music news segments, we've been talking about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, all we're saying is, well, Stevie Ray Vaughan is, is auditioning for a movie. What's, what's the name of the movie and what are you, what are you gonna try and do? Well, I believe it's called Maria's Love. And it's uh, the role that I'll be playing, if, if in fact it comes across, I'll be playing a renegade musician biker. <laughs> renegade? And, uh, yeah. Which is over there somewhere, but we'll see. 